Hello everybody and welcome to a short video here on Bank, Board and Alco Governance Framework. Now the reason I've decided to do a video on this, originally I posted this slide deck, it's a very short slide deck, only a handful of slides. I posted this on LinkedIn and I got an interesting comment back, a very valid comment back about my proposed governance framework for bank boards and ALCO, ALCO within the overall governance framework alongside the board. And I thought I would address that comment because I think it's useful to talk through the rationale for my proposed governance framework so that uh, readers and viewers understand why and can make up their own minds as to whether they want to go down one particular route or another. So that's the slide deck. I posted it originally uh, in um, earlier this month and it talked about corporate governance. It also referred to the core text from the BTRM program, which is the principles of banking. And it showed the approach to board structures in different countries. There is the unitary board, the Anglo-Saxon model, if you like, and the continental European model, the two-tier board. But really, it wasn't that that I wanted to dwell on. You'll have your own opinions on that. I wanted to dwell on my original suggested governance framework and then what I was recommending in my experience since then, as a result of my experience since then. So if you look at this from the core text originally, script, the manuscript written 10 years ago now in 2010, uh, published in 2012, and this shows an orthodox arrangement with the board of directors where the executive committee reports into the board of directors and the executive credit committee reports into the executive risk committee, if you like, uh, with a dotted line in possibly to the board or the executive risk committee. And the liability committee, the ALCO, reports into the EXCO. Now, this is orthodox. I had added an esoteric touch. I'd added something that I'd called an alpha committee or a short form of the board. This was in response to my experiences during 2008 and 2009 when I had I'd come to the conclusion that a swift decision making during a stress event, during a market wide stress event, the ability to, the ability to adapt and, and respond quickly to events uh, sometimes called for a cut down board that could meet more regularly, for example, as frequently as every day and make decisions quickly on behalf of the board. But subsequently to that, I've moved away from that logic in today's environment, in the Basel III environment, and also in the regulatory environment that we find ourselves since the crash. Uh, boards do need to be able to demonstrate adaptability and flexibility and speed of response in any case. So that kind of does away with the Alpha Committee. However, my proposed recommended structure, which is coming out in the second edition of the core text, the manuscript is being worked on now. Uh, the book won't be out until 2022 though, but uh, things being as they are with production timelines, I've got to submit the manuscript fairly shortly. This is the new or modified governance framework that I had recommended or suggested, which shows the Asset and Liability Committee pari persu to use a legal expression with the EXCO, both of them of equal equivalence as executive committees reporting into the board of directors. Also, you'll notice there's a dotted line oversight of credit risk by the ALCO, thus enabling the ALCO to own the entire balance sheet from a risk management and robustness and viability point of view. So that was the recommended structure. You can see the change. There's some subtle ones and more fundamental ones from the original recommendation that I'd published back in 2012. And one of the comments I got back was, well, ALCO is an executive committee and um, therefore it makes sense for it to report to the, ex uh, to the EXCO, the, the CEO chaired executive committee and have the board of directors having oversight of that, uh, which is fine and very common. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just wanted to point out that that operating model, which uh, was previously published in 2012 and which this comment on the LinkedIn post suggested was still valid and is still valid, I should add, that operating model was what we had in place for every bank in the UK that went bust in 2008 or 2007 and 2008. That operating model with the ALCO reporting into the EXCO and no oversight of the ALCO from credit, that operating model was in place at uh, Northern Rock, at HBOS, at Royal Bank of Scotland. It was what it was in place at the time and certainly in the case of those particular firms didn't quite pass muster when it comes to when it came to preserving balance sheet robustness and viability so i came away from that experience both observation as well as personal experience with the conclusion that alco needs to genuinely own the balance sheet and therefore needs this level uh, or this operating level within the governance framework of the bank. So that was uh, what I really wanted to discuss in this short video, just to put some rationale on that. Quite clearly, the previous model is still valid and it's still common, but I wanted uh, to give some color on why I'm proposing this adjusted model, 
which one does observe in the marketplace, by the way. One does observe this in banks around the world, so it's not unknown, it's just not as common. So it is in place, uh, and I would suggest it should be what we should be looking to, or could at least be considering to to move to or work to as an operating model for board governance or bank governance and the risk management framework in light of experience over the last 10 or 12 years. That's all really. That's, uh, I wanted to run through that on this slide deck. It's a very short slide deck uh, as the following shows. There's just some reading. I'll come out of that with the usual disclaimer and, uh, and I will bid you good evening. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you again on another video at some point. Thanks again and bye-bye.